and you get to ask her one question, what would that question be? What's outside the simulation? How do we know if we are real or just receiving input from an outside source? With the advancements in AI and computing, experts are beginning to see the evidence in the math everywhere. Great thinkers like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Elon Musk believe it is far more probable that this world is in fact just a high-tech simulation. It seemed to follow that the odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. Open your eyes and you will begin to observe the evidence that is everywhere. The evolution of virtual reality. In recent years, virtual reality, VR, has undergone a remarkable transformation, emerging as a captivating technology that immerses users in unparalleled depth and realism. This progress is largely attributed to significant improvements in VR operating systems, which are instrumental in defining our virtual experiences. The journey from rudimentary early systems to today's sophisticated platforms illustrates the rapid evolution of VR technology and its growing potential. Initially, VR operating systems were basic and limited, reflecting the early stages of the technology in the 1990s and early 2000s. These foundational systems provided a glimpse into the potential of VR, but lacked the depth and functionality we see today. Now, cutting-edge platforms like Oculus OS, Vive OS, and PlayStation VR OS have transformed the landscape with advanced features such as spatial computing, gesture recognition, and detailed environmental mapping. These modern systems significantly enhance user immersion, offering a richer and more engaging virtual experience. By seamlessly integrating augmented reality, AR, and mixed reality, MR, they extend VR's reach into diverse applications and industries. Today's VR operating systems are designed to create highly interactive and immersive environments. Oculus OS, Vive OS, and PlayStation VR OS deliver intuitive interfaces and precise tracking capabilities, making a wide range of VR content accessible. They play a crucial role in the VR ecosystem, with Windows Mixed Reality and popular game engines like Unity and Unreal Engine driving the development of immersive experiences. This evolving technology is reshaping the VR industry, highlighting its potential to become a dominant force in the tech world. Moreover, VR is part of a broader wave of immersive technologies, including AR and MR which are transforming various sectors. These technologies blend physical and digital elements to enhance user experiences across gaming, training, education, healthcare, and design. For instance, AR enriches gameplay with real-world interactions, while VR provides fully immersive simulations. Educational tools offer interactive learning opportunities healthcare benefits from therapeutic VR applications, and design professionals use VR for detailed project visualization. As these technologies advance, they promise to revolutionize our interactions with the world and with one another, opening up new avenues for innovation and exploration. In essence, the rapid advancement in VR operating systems marks an exciting era in computing paving the way for increasingly immersive and transformative experiences. As these technologies continue to develop, they provide more compelling evidence that we are indeed in a simulation period, just as Elon Musk proposed. AI and Machine Learning In the rapidly evolving landscape of technology, artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning, ML, are not merely progressing, they are redefining the boundaries of what is possible. These transformative technologies are setting new benchmarks and driving profound changes across various sectors, from healthcare to finance and transportation. In healthcare, AI is revolutionizing diagnostics and patient care with unprecedented precision. Advanced AI algorithms are enhancing predictive analytics 
by analyzing vast amounts of data, including patient records, epidemiological information, and genomic data. This capability not only enables personalized medicine, but also anticipatory healthcare, allowing for the prevention of diseases before they manifest. AI-driven diagnostic tools, particularly those leveraging deep learning, are drastically reducing diagnostic errors. In radiology and pathology, these systems are pivotal in detecting conditions like cancer at their earliest stages, potentially saving countless lives. Moreover, AI applications in mental health are expanding, with AI-powered chatbots and wearable technology offering personalized assessments and interventions, bridging gaps in mental health services. The financial sector is similarly transformed by AI, influencing operational efficiencies, customer engagement, and risk management. Algorithmic trading powered by AI analyzes market trends and economic indicators with remarkable sophistication, executing trades at lightning speed to capitalize on minute fluctuations. Enhanced security measures are in place as AI systems monitor transactions for fraudulent activity and ensure compliance with evolving regulations. Additionally, AI's role in credit and risk assessment is revolutionizing financial services, providing more accurate evaluations and broadening access to underserved populations. In transportation, the impact of AI is vividly apparent in the advancement of self-driving cars. These vehicles rely on complex AI algorithms to navigate real-world challenges, including sensor fusion, decision-making under uncertainty, and interaction with human-driven vehicles. Beyond autonomous vehicles, AI is enhancing smart infrastructure management through adaptive traffic signals, dynamic public transport routing, and predictive maintenance for roads and bridges. AI's role in optimizing traffic flow also contributes to reducing carbon footprints, with electric autonomous vehicles designed to minimize energy consumption and promote a greener urban transport future. Across industries, the integration of AI brings forth significant ethical and privacy considerations. As AI systems become more autonomous, ensuring they make ethical decisions, protect user data, and remain secure from malicious attacks is crucial. The future of AI lies in hybrid human-AI collaboration, where AI enhances human decision-making and productivity. This paradigm shift challenges us to rethink workplace dynamics and skill requirements. Moreover, advancements in AI and virtual simulations are even hinting at the possibility of creating conscious beings. As we forge ahead, the fusion of human ingenuity with AI promises to unlock new realms of possibility, transforming our world in ways we are just beginning to imagine. The Observer Effect Imagine a world where your mere act of observation can alter the very fabric of reality. This isn't science fiction. It's the strange and mind-bending realm of quantum mechanics. At the heart of this phenomenon is the observer effect, which reveals that particles behave differently when they are being watched. Quantum mechanics challenges everything we think we know about the universe. It's built on three foundational pillars. First, there's the concept of quantized properties. Unlike classical mechanics, where objects change smoothly and continuously, quantum mechanics dictates that particles, such as electrons, have specific, discrete values for their properties like position and speed. Next is the particle nature of light. Although light was once thought to only behave as a wave, the discovery that it can also act as a particle introduced the idea of quanta, tiny packets of energy, that fundamentally change our understanding of light. The third pillar is the wave nature of matter. Louis de Broglie and Erwin Schrödinger, working independently, demonstrated that particles can exhibit wave-like behavior. This means that particles, like electrons, can pass through multiple openings simultaneously, a phenomenon known as interference, but only when no one is observing them. 
Here's where it gets truly mind-blowing. The act of observation itself changes the outcome. In experiments, when electrons are observed as they pass through barriers with two openings, they stop behaving like waves and act like particles, passing through just one opening. This shift fundamentally alters the interference pattern, proving that observation can influence reality at a quantum level. Researchers have even built microscopic devices to explore this effect. They discovered that the presence of an electron detector, an observer, changes the interference pattern of electron waves. By adjusting the detector's sensitivity, they could control the electron's behavior, showcasing how the observer effect operates in the quantum world. Quantum mechanics and the observer effect reveal a universe more mysterious and interconnected than we could have ever imagined. New insights from the double slit experiment. In a world where reality and science intertwine, the provocative hypothesis about our existence being a simulation takes a bold leap forward considering the captivating double slit experiment an experiment that has baffled and fascinated scientists for over two centuries. It all started in 1801, when Thomas Young's revolutionary experiment showed light behaving as a wave. When light passed through two slits, it created an interference pattern of alternating bright and dark bands on a screen, illustrating wave behavior. This groundbreaking discovery set the stage for understanding light as oscillating electric and magnetic fields. However, the story didn't end there. In 1905, Albert Einstein's work on the photoelectric effect unveiled that light also exhibits particle-like properties, giving birth to the concept of wave-particle duality. Louis de Broglie further extended this idea, proposing that particles, such as electrons, also display wave characteristics. His hypothesis was confirmed through modern versions of Young's experiment, where electrons showed diffraction patterns similar to light. The twist in the tale comes with low-intensity experiments, revealing that even a single electron can interfere with itself, solidifying the notion that particles possess inherent wave-like properties. This quantum revelation wasn't limited to electrons. Neutrons and other particles have also been shown to exhibit diffraction patterns. While massive objects like humans have minuscule wavelengths, making diffraction practically impossible, the principle remains profound. This quantum behavior challenges traditional Newtonian mechanics and suggests that our universe may not be governed by classical physics alone. Could this fundamental wave-particle duality hint that our reality is a sophisticated simulation, as Elon Musk suggests? As we delve deeper into quantum mechanics, the idea of living in a simulated reality seems less like science fiction and more like a thrilling possibility. Donald Hoffman's Theory of Consciousness Imagine waking up one day and discovering that everything you've ever known, the colors you see, the sounds you hear, the textures you feel, is nothing more than a cleverly designed illusion. That's the provocative idea behind Donald Hoffman's groundbreaking theory on perception and reality. A cognitive scientist at the University of California, Irvine, Hoffman challenges the very foundation of how we understand the world around us. Hoffman's theory is as radical as it is fascinating. What we perceive as reality is not an accurate reflection of the objective world, but rather a simplified, user-friendly interface created by our brains. Think of it like the icons on your computer desktop. Those icons aren't the actual files or programs themselves, but easy to understand representations that help you navigate the system. Similarly, our sensory experiences, colors, shapes, sounds, are the brain's way of giving us a usable map, not the territory itself. But why would evolution equip us with such a deceptive interface? According to Hoffman, it's because accuracy isn't what matters in the grand scheme of survival. What really counts is fitness, our ability to survive and reproduce. Evolution, 
Hoffman argues, has shaped our brains to prioritize survival over truth. The result? A version of reality that's not true, but useful. For instance, consider how we perceive color. When we see something as blue or red, our brains are interpreting different wavelengths of light. These color perceptions help us quickly and effectively navigate the world, but they don't necessarily represent the exact nature of those wavelengths. In Hoffman's view, our senses have evolved not to reveal the truth, but to give us the best chance at survival. To back up his theory, Hoffman and his colleagues have used mathematical models and simulations to demonstrate that the likelihood of our perceptions aligning with true reality is nearly zero. Instead, our perceptions are optimized for what Hoffman calls fitness payoffs, the evolutionary advantages that certain behaviors and perceptions provide. But Hoffman doesn't stop there. He takes his theory a step further by proposing that the fundamental fabric of reality isn't physical matter, but rather conscious agents, entities whose interactions create everything we experience. Imagine reality as an endless web of conversations between these agents. The patterns of their interactions, according to Hoffman, are what give rise to the world as we perceive it. In this light, everything we see, hear, and feel is just the surface of a deeper, more complex reality. A reality where the true nature of existence remains hidden behind the veil of our evolutionary interface. Donald Hoffman's theory invites us to question everything we think we know, challenging us to reconsider the very essence of reality itself. Glitches in reality. Perhaps you've experienced this before. You're going about your day, and everything seems routine when suddenly, a wave of familiarity washes over you. You're certain you've experienced this exact moment before. The next few seconds feel almost predictive, as if you've somehow lived this scenario in a previous time. This peculiar phenomenon, known as déjà vu, is both unsettling and intriguing. Often dismissed as a mental hiccup, some theories suggest it might be a clue to something much deeper, a glitch in the very structure of reality. Déjà vu, a French term meaning already seen, describes the unsettling experience of encountering something that feels intensely familiar, even though you know it shouldn't. It's a fleeting sensation, making it difficult to study, yet estimates suggest that between 30% and 80% of people have experienced it at least once, particularly in young adulthood. Various explanations have been proposed for this mysterious phenomenon. Some suggest it could be a memory from a past life, or an indication that you're on the right path in your current one. Others believe it's a moment when our higher consciousness aligns with our current awareness, offering a brief glimpse into a greater reality. One of the more provocative theories is that déjà vu might be evidence of a simulated reality. In the 1999 film The Matrix, déjà vu is depicted as a glitch in the system, a sign that the simulated world has been altered. This idea ties into the growing belief in the simulation theory, which posits that our reality might be a highly advanced computer simulation. According to this theory, déjà vu could be a momentary fault in the simulation revealing its artificial nature. On a more scientific note, some researchers believe that déjà vu is related to the brain's complex memory systems. One theory suggests that it occurs due to a slight delay in processing sensory information. This delay might cause the brain to mistakenly interpret a current experience as something from the past, resulting in that eerie sense of familiarity. Mathematical Universe Hypothesis The universe, in its vast complexity, might be more than just a physical expanse. It could be a mathematical construct. This is the core idea of the Mathematical Universe Hypothesis, MUH, a bold theory proposed by cosmologist Max Tegmark. According to MUH, the universe isn't just governed by mathematical laws, it is mathematics. Every particle, force, and galaxy 
is part of an immense, intricate mathematical structure. Tegmark's hypothesis suggests that all mathematical objects exist in a physical sense. This radical idea implies that anything mathematically conceivable, from simple geometric shapes to infinitely complex patterns, has a real, physical existence in some corner of the multiverse. Our reality, then, is not just described by mathematics, but is fundamentally composed of it. We are all elements within an immense equation, living out our existence according to the rules of this cosmic code. What makes this theory even more intriguing is its explanation of consciousness. Tegmark argues that humans are self-aware substructures within the mathematical universe. Our consciousness arises from the complexity of these mathematical forms. In any sufficiently intricate mathematical system, life and intelligence could naturally emerge, experiencing what seems like a physical world, but which is ultimately mathematical at its core. Though speculative, the MU provides a strikingly different perspective on the nature of reality. It proposes that everything, every atom, every thought, every law of nature, is part of a vast, interconnected mathematical framework. If this is true, our understanding of the universe could be fundamentally redefined, opening new avenues of exploration into the very essence of existence itself. The Holographic Principle In the early 1970s, Stephen Hawking unveiled a startling equation that would reshape our understanding of the universe, combining relativity, quantum mechanics, and the concept of information, this equation set the stage for a revolutionary idea, the holographic principle. The crux of this principle emerges from the mysterious nature of black holes. When an object crosses a black hole's event horizon, it plunges into a realm of darkness, eventually reaching the singularity, a point where it is thought to be crushed out of existence. The burning question, what happens to the information about this object? Hawking's early work suggested that while the energy persists, the information might vanish forever. A concept that clashed with the fundamental tenet of physics that information cannot be destroyed. This notion of information loss sparked decades of heated debate among scientists. By the 1990s, the holographic principle began to gain traction. It proposed that the information about objects falling into a black hole isn't obliterated, but rather encoded on the event horizon. This idea likens the black hole's surface to a hologram that preserves a three-dimensional image in two dimensions. Taking this further, the principle suggests that our entire universe might operate on a similar holographic framework. In this view, everything we perceive as three-dimensional could be a projection of information spread across a distant two-dimensional surface. This perspective challenges our traditional notions of space and reality, proposing that the tangible world we experience might be an intricate hologram, a profound illusion grounded in the fabric of the universe itself. The Second Law of Infodynamics In 2022, Dr. Vopson from the University of Portsmouth made a groundbreaking discovery that could reshape our understanding of physics and biology. His new theory, known as the second law of infodynamics, extends the principles of the second law of thermodynamics, a concept stating that entropy, or disorder, in a closed system tends to increase or stay the same. Dr. Vopson's research suggests that this principle of increasing entropy can also be applied to genetic mutations. According to his theory, genetic changes in organisms, including viruses, follow a pattern determined by information entropy. This could revolutionize fields such as genetic research and virology by enabling scientists to predict how viruses will mutate and prepare targeted treatments ahead of time. The theory has profound implications. For instance, it could transform our approach to genetic therapies and pandemic monitoring 
by providing a predictive model for viral evolution. This advance would allow researchers to stay one step ahead of evolving threats, rather than reacting to them after they arise. Beyond biology, Dr. Vopson's work explores the behavior of electrons in multi-electron atoms. His theory provides insights into how electrons arrange themselves to minimize information entropy, which could enhance our understanding of chemical stability and atomic interactions. This deeper comprehension of electron behavior could lead to significant advances in atomic physics. Additionally, the second law of infodynamics offers new perspectives on cosmology. The theory suggests that entropy principles apply universally, from subatomic particles to cosmic scales. If validated, this could provide a unified framework for understanding both microscopic and macroscopic phenomena in the universe. Furthermore, Dr. Vopson's research touches on simulation theory, proposing that the universe's information entropy might align with computational principles. This implies that our reality could be akin to a sophisticated simulation, where information is a fundamental building block, potentially even the dark matter that constitutes much of the universe. This groundbreaking theory not only challenges existing scientific paradigms, but also opens new avenues for exploration in physics and biology, offering the potential to redefine our understanding of the universe. The Computational Limits of the Universe Imagine the universe as a colossal computer, processing the data of existence with boundless precision. Despite its vastness, however, the universe may be constrained in its computational capacity, functioning similarly to a finite state machine. This type of machine can only handle a set number of states and transitions, suggesting that the universe, despite its immense potential, operates within certain limitations. To understand this concept, consider that the universe's computational ability is not as powerful as a Turing machine. A Turing machine, with its theoretical infinite memory, can compute anything computable. In contrast, the universe, despite its extensive range of possible memory states, appears to function more like a finite state machine with a limited number of symbols and states. Quantum mechanics offers a fascinating perspective on this. Information within the universe is stored and processed using systems represented by wave functions. For instance, if a system is in a particular state, it is described by a wave function, while an apparatus that interacts with this system is also described by a wave function. These states are discrete, though they can be extraordinarily complex. The concept of infinite memory illustrates the limitations further. Suppose a machine could store an infinite number of states and still provide finite answers. This idea would be akin to having infinite accessible memory. However, transitions between states require energy, and due to entropy, the universe's tendency to disperse energy, this energy cannot be reused. With only finite usable energy available, transitions between states are restricted, limiting the number of states and changes. The expanding universe adds another layer of constraint. Regions beyond the cosmological horizon remain inaccessible, and the universe's expansion limits the available particles and energy. A static universe might offer a different scenario, but the current expanding cosmos presents practical limitations. Nick Bostrom's Simulation Theory Imagine the world as you know it, your home, your friends, the very fabric of your existence, might be nothing more than an intricate simulation, a digital creation spun by beings far advanced beyond our wildest imaginations. This isn't a plot twist from a sci-fi movie, but a provocative idea proposed by philosopher Nick Bostrom in 2003. Bostrom's simulation theory suggests that what we perceive as reality could be an elaborate computer-generated illusion like the Matrix. At its core, 
Bostrom's theory hinges on the possibility that future civilizations could develop technology so advanced that they could create highly detailed simulations of past societies, complete with conscious beings. Imagine a future where our descendants, or entities from a different realm, possess computing power capable of generating worlds so lifelike that the inhabitants, like us, would be unable to distinguish their existence from reality. Bostrom offers a thought-provoking framework. If such an advanced society exists, it would likely have the means to run countless simulations. Think of the evolution of video games, from simple, pixelated graphics of Pong to today's hyper-realistic virtual worlds. If technology continues to progress, it's not hard to envision simulations so sophisticated that they replicate entire historical eras with perfect detail. Our reality could be one such simulation. The implications of this idea are both fascinating and unsettling. If we are indeed living in a simulation, what does that say about our creators? Are they our future descendants, conducting experiments on their ancestors, or beings from an entirely different dimension? And what if these creators decided to alter or even terminate our simulated reality? The ramifications could be monumental. Bostrom's argument also raises questions about our perception of existence. Are we just characters in a grand digital narrative, or is our world genuinely tangible? According to Bostrom, the computing power required for such simulations is not beyond the reach of a posthuman civilization. If these ancestor simulations are possible, and if future beings have any interest in creating them, it's highly plausible that we might be living in one. So, as you ponder your surroundings, consider Bostrom's provocative hypothesis. It challenges us to reevaluate our assumptions about reality and the boundaries of technological progress, making us wonder, are we participants in a meticulously crafted simulation, or is our world truly as real as it appears? The Mandela Effect The Mandela Effect, an astonishing twist on collective memory, captures our imagination with its paradoxical nature. This phenomenon is where large groups of people remember events differently from reality. The term Mandela Effect traces back to Broom's chance realization in 2009. At a conference, Broom and others were conversing about Mandela's supposed death in a South African prison decades earlier. This collective memory, though detailed with imagined news reports and speeches, was entirely inaccurate. Mandela, contrary to these shared memories, lived until 2013. Shocked by this widespread misremembering, Broom set up a website to explore and document similar instances, coining the term Mandela Effect for this peculiar phenomenon. But Mandela isn't alone in this curious realm. Think about the iconic Berenstain Bears. Many recall it as Berenstein, a subtle but significant difference. Or consider the Monopoly Man. Countless people remember him with a monocle, even though he's never had one. These widespread false memories stretch into pop culture, affecting everything from misquoted movie lines to song lyrics. What drives the Mandela Effect? Several theories offer intriguing possibilities. One explanation is cognitive dissonance, where the brain's attempt to reconcile discrepancies leads to collective false memories. Others suggest media influence and social reinforcement, where repeated exposure to misinformation shapes our recollections. More speculative theories propose alternate realities or parallel universes suggesting we might be tapping into memories from different versions of our world. Despite the varied explanations, the Mandela Effect remains a captivating enigma. It challenges our perceptions of reality and highlights the fragile nature of collective memory. Whether approached through the lens of psychology, media influence, or even alternate dimensions, this phenomenon underscores the complexity of human cognition. As we delve into these shared but false recollections, 
We gain a deeper understanding of how our minds navigate and sometimes misinterpret the world around us. The Mandela Effect is not just a quirk of memory. It's a window into the fascinating interplay between reality and perception. Fermi Paradox and the Great Filler In 1950, physicist and Nobel laureate Enrico Fermi posed a question that has since become one of the most profound mysteries of modern science. Where are they? This question, asked during a conversation about the vastness of the cosmos, was directed at extraterrestrial civilizations. Fermi's curiosity was spurred by the seemingly infinite number of stars and planets in the universe. With such a vast expanse, it seemed inevitable that intelligent civilizations capable of developing advanced technology and exploring space should be spread across the galaxy. Yet, despite this cosmic abundance, no evidence of such civilizations has been found, an anomaly that still holds true today. This puzzle, known as the Fermi Paradox, highlights the stark contrast between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the absence of any observable evidence. The universe, with its countless stars and potentially habitable planets, should be bustling with signs of advanced alien life. Yet our searches through powerful telescopes and space probes reveal nothing. Several theories have been proposed to address the Fermi Paradox, but none have been definitively proven. One notable hypothesis introduced in the 1990s by economist Robin Hansen is known as the Great Filter. This theory suggests that the journey to becoming an advanced spacefaring civilization involves a series of extraordinarily rare and challenging steps. According to the Great Filter concept, at least one of these critical stages is so difficult that few, if any, civilizations manage to overcome it. The Great Filter theory implies that several crucial milestones must be achieved for a species to become an interstellar power. It starts with the formation of a habitable planet within the right zone around a star. From there, life must emerge, and the ability to reproduce using complex molecules like DNA and RNA must develop. Simple, single-celled organisms must evolve into more complex cells, and multicellular life must emerge. The advancement of sexual reproduction, which enhances genetic diversity, follows. Eventually, intelligent beings must develop the capacity to use tools and create advanced technology capable of space exploration. Despite humanity's current stage, where we possess sophisticated radio astronomy and space probes like Pioneer and Voyager, we have yet to encounter signs of other civilizations. The Great Filter presents a sobering possibility. Either the hurdles to achieving interstellar travel are exceptionally high, or civilizations that reach such a stage are exceedingly rare and short-lived. The paradox and the Great Filter together underscore the immense scale of the universe and the enigmatic silence that pervades it, challenging our understanding of life and our place in the cosmos. Do you agree with the proposition that we are living in a simulation? Let us know your opinion in the comments below.